Welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your spirit ever renew our life, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The psalm today is number 56. Have mercy on me, O God, for they trample over me. All day long they assault and oppress me. My adversaries trample over me all the day long. Many are they that make proud war against me. In the day of my fear, I put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise. In God I trust and will not fear, for what can flesh do to me? All day long they wound me with words, their every thought is to do me evil. They stir up trouble, they lie in wait, marking my steps, they seek my life. They shall, shall they escape for all their wickedness? In anger, O God, cast the peoples down. You have counted up my groaning, put my tears into your bottle, are they not written in your book? Then shall my enemies turn back, on the day when I call upon you, this I know, for God is on my side. In God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not fear, what can flesh do to me? To you, O God, will fulfil my vows, to you will I present my offering of thanks, for you will deliver my soul from death and my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of the covenant. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God, who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations and I have called you in righteousness. Our reading is from Mark's Gospel, chapter 1 beginning to read at verse 29. As soon as Jesus left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her and she began to serve them. That evening at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons and the whole city was gathered around the door, and he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. 
and Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, everyone is searching for you. He answered, let us go on to the neighbouring towns so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. A leper came to him, begging him, and kneeling, he said to him, If you choose, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. After sternly warning him, he sent him away at once, saying to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a testimony to them. But he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the word, so that Jesus could no longer go into a town openly, but stayed out in the country, and people came to him from every quarter. Here ends the reading. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. The Venedictus. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And so we pray. Almighty God, we pray today for all those who lead our country. Father, we pray for our government and for our Prime Minister, and we pray for all in authority. Father, we pray that you would give them wisdom and good counsel, that they would work to seek the common good. Father, we pray for our local councillors and for our local elected officials. We pray for our police force. Father God, we pray that the spirit of peace would reign in our communities and that you would show us how we can be peacemakers within our own sphere of influences. Almighty God, we pray for our local schools and places of education and we pray for our nursing homes and our care homes. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.